Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 6 in VCP 8 data center virtualization 2023 video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to join VMware vCenter server or you can say VCSA appliance to Active Directory domain. So why you need a, a vCenter server or appliance to join in Active Directory domain? So the basic concept behind it, let's say if you have a big organization and if you have a set of users or set of uh, you know IT administrator or VMware administrator who who wants to have access to vCenter server you can create a manual account in your vCenter server and you can give them access but let's say if you have a different different departments where you want to give them role based uh, role based access basically some some users you want to have a um, read only access some wants to have a storage access some wants to have a networking level access and all but they are they are like number of users are big right 100 users or more than 100 users you want to have a centralized management of access through group policy users or group policy groups so in that case it will be easy for you know administrators vcenter server administrator to you know join the servers in uh, vcenter server in active directory and then manage all the rights coming from active directory users and groups so let's say <coughs> If you take example, if I have an account on AD Active Directory for all of my, you know, of um, uh, organization related work, and if I have a separate account for vCenter server login and all, it might be I have to maintain two user, uh, two accounts, two password and everything. And if I have a single access, uh, then definitely it will be easy for you to, you know, manage the infrastructure. And in in case if if anyone, uh, you know, leave the organization, it will be if you are going to decommission the Active Directory, you know, Active Directory user, or you you can go ahead and disable the Active Directory users, and it will uh, basically going to remove your all the rights from vCenter server. So it is always highly recommended to join your Active Directory, basically vCenter info server in Active Directory, and do all the administration and all the management tasks or any any user administration or permission rights should be coming from active directory so this is explanation why you need vcenter server to join in active directory so here is uh, infrastructure which we built in last few videos so this is my active directory server win2k 22 dc01 this having active directory and dns role and this is our vcenter server which we have deployed in last video so vcsc.labsense1.lan so if i show you here this is my active directory server so if i sh if i go here and open active directory users and computers you will see here i don't have a you know um, esxi host we added in last video so vcenter server is not added yet so we will add it uh, vcenter server and also we are going to give this uh, you know group uh, rights uh, as a you can say the create a new group you can create a new group call it let's say uh, vcenter vcenter admin okay and you can create one more group call it like vcenter read only okay and now what i'm going to do on vcenter admin i'm going to add one user which is basically user 01 and in vcenter read only what i'm going to do i'm going to add user 2 okay so we got two groups in active directory with different set of users so we'll validate these uh, you know rights also so now this is our active directory server and again this is hosting dns also so let's verify our <coughs> vcenter server so <coughs> this is my vcenter server so currently it's not joining domain so we have only one account to login so we spare dot local and of course you don't want to share this uh, credential with everyone so that's why uh, you can create a local account or better to join machine in Active Directory. So now if I go here and click on administration, 
you can see all set of you know uh, role based rules are created permission are created and all so the first thing if you go in configuration you will see here identity source so current identity source is coming system domain which is by default system domain which is vspa.local we are just using this domain administrator account within this domain and then we have local operating system local os so if i go here local users basically you can see single sign on domain is this and then it got a password policy and all so if i go to users and group you will see here two options local os and vsp.local in vsp.local we got this administrator account created which we have just logged in so currently this is the simple thing the os management to manage uh, the os installation and configuration for vCenter server so we'll add the active directory first so if you see the first thing we need to add active directory join this machine in active directory domain and then we need to add a uh, identity source so first thing go to active directory you will see here this node uh, is not joined in active directory so click on join and what i'm going to do here put the your domain so labs and so on dot land so make sure you have proper dns configure so um, your vcenter server can reach to you know domain regulation and it can get the required domain so join okay i think password is wrong so let me try one more time So now you see node vcsa dot labs and so on joined in active directory search successfully reboot the node to take apply the changes so now this is good i acknowledge this now if you go to identity source if you click on add you will see here active directory integrated windows is coming but domain name is not so you cannot uh, continue because single sign on server is not currently joined in any domain so you will see this is not joined so go to active directory and join so we already done this so what we just need to do we need to reboot this uh appliance so i'll go basically here on um, 5480 and i'll log into appliance management console and then i'll reboot this appliance so this is good we'll go ahead and in action reboot so yes i want to reboot the system and then we need to go to esxi host and make sure basically it's rebooting and no issue with the host reboot uh, we sent a reboot so just verify it now you can see this is getting rebooting the machine is getting reboot so the reboot for vcenter is going to take some time so i'm going to pause the recording here once the reboot is completed i'll start from there so now you can see it's rebooting so this is good so server is back now if i try to log in nightbit will not allow me because it's still in you know um, initializing state so when you need we need to wait for some more time so now vcenter is up and you can log in with your administrator account this time so we spare dot local and password for this account now you can see we logged in with the local administrator account this time now if i go here and show you in active directory so this is you can see leave the domain is coming and the organization OU details are coming so this is good so now we verified this join in domain so this is good now if i go in identity source click on add and you will see here active directory or integrated windows authentication is showing and domain name is also showing so use the machine account and just click on add so now you will see the identity source is added so and domain is coming labs uh, hands on dot land so now if i go on users and group you will see here 
from drop down left hand zone dot line is coming so this is good and you can see all the groups and users here so you can see here like vcsa guest user one user two and you can see other details also so if i now search for let's say vcsa admin and verify if that is coming or not so you will not see here because you need to check in groups so if you go in groups okay it's not coming in groups as well might be it will take some time so basically you need to go in groups and then you don't find anything so you need to click on add first and then give the group name so i'm going to give vcenter hyphen admin and then select your add member you need to uh, select the uh, location and then search for this and you will see this is added now so click on add now you will see vcenter hyphen admin is added same way i'm going to add vcenter hyphen you will say read only okay so i'll copy this and go here and then i'll search this also you see now both is added here so we sent the read only and we sent the, uh, this account administrator both is added now so if i go to here now you will see the users are there and group are there so this is good now to give role based access you need to come here so if you see this administrator who have administrator means description full access rights so users if you go on users you will see who all have administrator rights so vspare dot local hyphen administrator slash administrator having administrator right and is uh, propagated to all the all the child uh, child object if you see here privilege what privilege it has so this is good now if i go and give the right so how you can give the right so so now uh since uh, the groups are added ad is added and everything good now we should be able to give rights so one thing where you want to give rights to user okay let's say if you have a users you want to give rights to you know uh, some certain data center only or esxi host or cluster and anything so that's why you you can go on top of that object basically and then you can go in permissions and you can assign permissions from here okay so this is the basically you can assign permission at any level so if i go here then i should be able to add the user so let's say on a vcenter server i'm going in permissions and then i'm going to click on add and from uh, where you want to add so search for our you know um, uh admin uh, this thing user so i'm going to add uh, admin group and what rights we want to give administrator and if you see here propagate to ch child children so it will basically apply to all the child object which is here on top of vcenter so this is good now this vcenter admin is added as a, a role is administrator so same way we can go here and add the read only also so like vcenter admin and this time we are going to select read only and then writes what you want to give you uh, read only and then propagate to children and click ok now we have added both vcenter admin and vcenter read only from our active directory now it's time to validate if we got access or not so just go here and log out so i'll first log in with my user 01 which we have created with the vcenter admin rights so if you see basically this user should have now admin access on a vcenter so let's verify that so user 01 at labs and so on dot lan and type the password oops so now you can see uh, i just logged into vcenter and now if i go and perform any task okay let's verify what rights i have okay 
so if you go here on any level like go to data center you will see here this is coming i'm part of this uh, this group so let's verify to re reboot one of the hosts so i'm going here and if you see here also this is highlighting we can go ahead and reboot shut down so i'm going to just take a reboot for this machine so here you can say right check or uh, go ahead and reboot this host now you will see the in, uh, initiate host reboot is completed so means we got the right uh, you know full admin access so you will see the host is going to reboot soon so this is what host is now rebooting so this is good now what i'm going to do i'm going to log in with user02 which having basically read only writes if you see here it having read only writes right so let's go here and user 0 to and then left hand zone dot lan and the password for this account so now this user should have basically read only writes only to infrastructure okay so now if i expand this and if i go now and try to you know you will see all the options here ah this is grayed out you see virtual machine uh, import virtual machine these all basically have read reads only right so it has a only limited rights you know so if you see all the you know i cannot uh, remove machine from inventory but per add permission anything like that uh, we don't have so this is good so basically this is all about this video how you can use uh, join your vcenter server in active directory domain and how you can play around with the uh, you know giving the rights or permission to your uh, uh, groups or you can say users active direct users in active direct, uh, in vcenter server so in next video we are going to drill more in this uh, feature and uh, we're going to do some more uh, you know uh, activity related to permission rights and all we are going to see what all the privilege we can give how to how you can customize the rights and also uh, thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post my my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye